Here are pom-pom bows, or some people like to call them firecracker bows because they do look like a really cool firecracker. Now you can cut the ends as I have done here on this bow, or you can just leave them plain. It's up to you, but I do suggest that you work with um, ribbon that's already cut instead of making the bow and then trying to cut it. So we have our pieces here. For this bow, I'm using strips that are six inches long, and I have ten of them. Now actually for the one I'm going to show you here in the video, I'm going to double layer this. So I have two different colors. I have ten pieces of each one. I'm going to put them right on top of one another and we're going to make our bow like that. Now again, if you want a bow with ends like that, go ahead and cut that right now before we get started. Okay, so we're just going to grab our needle and thread. Remember I like to use a three inch long ribbon, I'm sorry, a three inch long needle and then upholstery thread. I'm going to take my first piece, fold it in half, then I'm going to come across here at an angle and make a V. Now make sure that both ends of your V are the same length. That will just create a better looking bow. I'm going to take this, put our needle right through the center there, getting all the layers and put it down to the end of the needle. Now if you want, you can let it fall onto the string there too, that's just fine. Now I'm going to alternate with color since I had the pink on the outside that time. For this next one, I'm going to have the brown on the outside. Okay, You can do whatever you like. I just want to show you some different ways to make this bow, kind of get your creative juices flowing. Okay, so just keep making these and then we're going to push them right straight on there and just put it at a different angle. Okay, I'll show you one more and then I'll finish up this bow. Let me use the pink on the outside, fold it lengthwise, make a V, pick it up, make sure that it's even and then you could place it down on your bow. Sorry, on your needle to finish making your bow. Okay, just keep doing that and then I'll show you how to finish it. Okay, once you have all your pieces on there, just make sure that they're all fanned out around the bow. This bow is perfect for pigtails if you want to make the strips that you start off with just about four inches instead of the six makes a pretty big bow. As you can see, it fits in the size of my hand. But if you want to do pigtail bows, just make them a little bit smaller. Now you can go ahead and pull out these layers too if you wanted. There's a lot you can do with this bow, so I just wanted to show you some of the options. So once we have all of those layers through, we are going to push carefully and pull our needle through. Now you might want to grab a pair of pliers because sometimes it's hard to get this needle through. Okay, so I'm just going to pull gently with my pliers. Okay. Grab the end of that needle. And just push these all back down. And we're going to bring our needle up through the center again. This is to secure it, okay? Make sure that your fingers are not in the way. I'm using pressure against the table. Straight through the center. Here comes my needle, fingers out of the way, grab it with your pliers, bring it right through. Okay, do that at least one time more if you really want it to be secure. Okay, now we just need to tie this off, just put a nice knot in it. Put your finger there so you can get that knot down as far as possible. There we go. Now you can just fluff this up however way you like. Again, if you want to try to separate some of these layers, make it more full and fluffy, you can. That's just another way to make your firecracker bow. Now these bows are great uh, because you can use your team colors and, and make them. Um, little girls just love them because they look like pom-poms and that is just a fun bow and that's all we need.